What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. LV Wookie here. So, a lot of people do stress tests on Glocks, but they never do the stress tests on the magazines. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna, so I'll see you guys out there. First thing is the function test to make sure it functions properly. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get my ears on. Probably, I do have 10 rounds of blanks just because of the ammo shortage. So I'll be doing seven rounds per one. So let's go ahead and reload it again. I am using reloads. They're from Superval. Let's go ahead and put them in. The first thing is the water test. So the water test. Let's drop it in the water. Make sure all the bubbles go away. It is a little dirty from before. I did a little test before, but. There you go, that passed. So, I'm gonna skip the sand and do it second. I did have a problem with, uh, with the sand earlier with my 1911 magazine, so. Slippery. So the dirt, this is as dry as we can. Let's see what happens. I mean, there's no scientific reason why I'm doing this. I'm just doing it to see if you drop it in sand or dirt or we're sitting there and see what would happen. So this is chambered. So it passed the dirt test. The sand test is a little harder. Let me go ahead and clean this off real good. So mud and everything on it. So this is a more this is a little bit harder test, I would say, than any of them, but I'm gonna get it dried off and we're gonna go to the sand. Hopefully it passes the sand. My 1911 didn't pass the sand. So, you can feel it's gritty in there, but they're still going in. So, this thing, this sand would be the hardest, I think. Let's go ahead and put it in there and see what happens. I'm trying to bury it. And all this sand and mud I found out in the desert, it's not any button sand or anything. Let me do it again. Not to worry about, I'll just shake it off like someone would do. Yep. A double feed, or just a miss feed. Try it one more time. Yeah, so let's go back up and look at it. So the sand is a killer. It's killing this thing. It's not going to move. Let's wash it off in the water and see if we can get it free up. There we go. Got a little bit loosed up. Not loosed up, a little freed up. See what happens. Come on. So you to go in a battery. So you go to battery. That's it, blank. So stuck. What do I think? You know what? It's freed up enough. I'm gonna try the mud. Seems like none of the magazines like the sand. It seems freed up. I'll just try the mud. Pass the dirt, no problem. Let's see what it does with the mud. Sorry about the wind, guys. 
this is gonna be fun. So here you guys go, the mud. <laughs> you shake it off. Let's see what happens. I'm kind of afraid to put this in there, but let's see. Well, one got in the chamber, huh? Yeah. Ready to go in the battery. Let's drop this. That one fell out. Let's just discard that one. It's getting really. So you go in the battery. Let's try it again. This is hard to grab this when it's all wet. Oh, that's why it's not all it's not it's not going in all the way so make sure I put this back in there I need to clean my hands off so let's see if it goes all the way in there I think I think it's good now nope so there you have it I'm gonna rinse it off to see what happens see if it comes back to working order let's see there so guys now the wind calmed down so here you go i put this three or four rounds in let's see if i can get to function again no so All right, guys, show you the weapons clear. So there was no really scientific test. I just wanted to see if what would happen if you dropped it in mud, sand, water. So it did pass the water fine. It did pass the dirt fine. It did have problems with the sand and the mud, which I kind of expected. But I want to see if the aftermarket magazines are a little better, the ones without holes in the side. So I have a few Magpul that just have a hole down here to see if that maybe helps it when it drops in sand or water. But anyways, I think it did fairly well. This thing's dirty. Now the gun needs to be clean. The trigger is really gritty now, which is expected. You know, if you guys want to hit up some comments, I mean, no one really has ever done this before online that I've seen. Maybe they have, maybe they haven't, but I just want to see what would happen. The next one's going to be my 1911, see how that acts, and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I'll probably post uh, uh, a good amount of videos about this and different magazines, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you next time.